All right, this tutorial is going to cover how to use the AGM 65D missile known as the Maverick. We're also going to go over how to foresight your Maverick missile to your TGP. In other words, you're going to make it to where whenever you use your TGP to find a target, you can lock it up and your Maverick missile will automatically lock up to whatever that TGP is looking at. Now, while the Maverick does have its own camera built into it to find targets, it's good to bore side because the TGP has a much further range and you can clearly see the targets from a distance. So before we get started, we click our flight, we click our plane, and we're going to hit low down. You can see we have six Mavericks, a targeting pod, and a fuel tank. Now you can see on the route, before we get to the target area, which is steer point four, I have a steer point placed over here at steer point three, which is a enemy camp. If we right click and hit recon, you can see there's a bunch of buildings down here. Now the reason I have steer point three set up is because I want a target to help me bore sight my Maverick and my TGP together. Now you can either fly along your route and hope there's something along the way, or you can plan a point like I did right here. That way you know you have an area you can do your bore sighting at. So, we'll click our data cartridge, com, com plan, IFF, IFF plan, save, and we'll hit takeoff, and I'll see you in the air. All right, now that we're in the air, the first thing you want to do is come over to the left-hand side, make sure your master arm is on in the up position. It is for us right now. We'll come over here to the ICP, and we're going to go to air to ground mode by pressing AG. Come over here to the right-hand MFD, and make sure you're on the SMS page and make sure you have your AG65D selected right here. If you don't, you're going to click the button to the right. Now, right here, you can see it says power off. Right now, our Mavericks are turned off. So if we could hit the OSB, we'll go to power on, and it'll give you this little message saying not timed out. The Maverick takes a while to warm up a few minutes. So while we're waiting, we'll go ahead and pull up the TGP down here. We'll go to standby, we'll go to air to ground. Now, we'll go back to the SMS page. And I'll rejoin you in this video once we have it warmed up. Now it is finally warmed up because it says ready next to AG65D. So the next step is we're going to go over to our TGP. And we are going to find a target to bore sight onto. So we'll make our TGP soy by pressing DMS down. And you know it's soy because it has a yellow border now on the MFD. So we're going to find a target by zooming in. And we'll use this helipad right here as a target. So we zoom in, hit TMS up to lock, and we have a lock. Come over here to the left hand MFD, and we bring up the weapon page. Now, this is the Maverick Seekers view right here. So we make the weapon page soy by, bringing, uh, by pressing DMS down. And we are now going to slew our Maverick to the same target our TGP is looking at. Then we're going to press TMS up. All right, now that we have a solid crosshair, we're going to hit bore sight, and we're going to press missile step. Missile step will switch us to Station 7 Maverick. We're going to find the same target, hit TMS up, hit bore sight. All right, so we've now bore sighted Station 3 and Station 7, and you don't have to bore sight the missiles individually. You just have to bore sight each station, so now we're done bore sighting. So the Maverick does have limited battery, as I said, so we are going to power it off now until we get close to the target area. So we'll come over to the SMS page, and we are going to hit power off. Now that's powered off, I'm going to rejoin you once we are close to the target area. Alright, I froze my game now that we're close to the target area. And the first thing you want to do is come down here to your SMS page and make sure you press the power off OSB to warm up your Maverick again. We warmed it up once already, so it's going to warm up within seconds this time. You can see it's already ready. So now that's good. We're going to come over to the TGP, and we are going to press DMS down to make it soy. And then we are going to find us a target. Okay, so we'll make this vehicle right here a target by pressing TMS up. And you can already see over here on the left side, it's saying handoff in progress. In other words, the Maverick is trying to slave over to the TGP. Now, it's not going to slave over until we are within range of the target, which is usually about 10 miles for a Maverick. So, we're going to go ahead and unfreeze the game and fly towards the target area. Now, if you look on our HUD, you can see there's a box with a circle and a dot all on top of each other. That's basically where our TGP and our Maverick's looking, so we'll turn left and head straight towards it. 
on the HUD, you can see there's a 14 with the arrow coming down. And once it gets to that bracket, well, that means we're within range. And it also does the same thing on the weapon page of the Maverick Seeker. Now, something else worth noting, pause real quick, is there is a large crosshair right on the Seeker, but there's also a smaller plus sign. You can kind of see of it right here below the center of our screen. This little plus sign right here, it needs to be also steady, not flashing, in order to be within range and uh, launch parameters. So on pause, and we'll fly a little bit closer to the target. And once we get close and within range, uh, by having the arrow fall down to this bracket, we're going to bring our flight path marker up here straight onto the target. Okay, we're within range, so we're going to bring our nose down a little bit. We'll pull out the power so we don't speed over. And now you can see on our SMS page, we got two solid crosshairs, so we're going to press and hold up and release. Now we're going to make our TGP soy. We're going to find a different target, press TMS up to lock it up, and you can see it's slaving our Maverick. We've got two solid crosshairs, so we're going to press and hold weapon release. We're going to find a different target. TMS up with the TGP. Look on the SMS page, we got two solid uh, targets, or excuse me, two solid crosshairs. Press and hold weapon release. Now we're going to turn away, and we're going to zoom out the TGP and watch the impacts from the camera. There goes one missile right there. Impact. There's another impact. And this last one should get hit as well. Oh, there it is right there. Yep, there it is flying in and impact. And that's how you use the AGM-65 along with the TGP and bore sight.